in the always on setup on windows server 2008 r2 edition there's a specific problem that while configuring the quorum words cannot be set so here i have a always on setup and i will just quickly view the cluster quorum information and as i can see that uh, word count is not available for both the uh, primary and the dr nodes only it is available for the file share witness so this is not a ideal situation and we would want to have word count for all the three members here so even if i go to the ssms and query the hrdr cluster members dmz i can see that uh, there is no words configured for both the members here so this is not an option which is available in windows server 2008 r2 this is something which is taken care in windows server 2012 for always on setup so what we'll do is that there is a uh, kb article on available from microsoft website so i've downloaded this and uh, we will install it on both the nodes so we will uh, quickly go and install this particular uh, particular node so so there's a kb249 uh, which we are going to install both the nodes so that we can uh, configure votes uh, for our always on nodes so we have installed the kb article now uh, it's asking us to restart the node so we, we will have to restart both the nodes so now that the server has booted so let us uh, try to s uh, see if any changes has happened so uh, as we can see now that we can see that the vote count is uh, one for all the nodes is visible and if if we uh, want to change the vote according to our own convenience and needs so for uh, say suppose I want to uh, set the vote count for prod sql 0 1 to 0 uh, I can do that uh, now that I have uh, installed this uh, KB article from Microsoft so uh, I will check the DMZ as well to verify So as you can see that uh, number of quorum words is one. So le let us try to uh, fail over the always on and see if uh, so let us fail over and let's see if any changes we can see. So the failover has happened. Uh, we'll refresh this. let's go to the uh, secondary as well and just verify
so let us again um, do a failover So uh, now we will uh, try to change the voting configuration for any one of the member and see that if it works. So we have changed the node weight uh, for uh, the secondary uh, node to zero. So let's verify if it has changed. So as you can see that uh, the vote count has changed to zero. So once we have uh, installed this KV from Microsoft, we are able to uh, configure voting uh, in the cluster quorum in Windows Server 2008 R2 for uh, always on the time in SQL Server.